Hello Sizer, I'm a new follower. I just watched your video and I'm curious, is being a content creator your only profession? If so, does it pay well enough to afford housing, food, bills, etc.? I'm always so curious because I follow quite a lot of people that don't seem to have nine to fives outside of creating content. Frankly, I'm a little envious, thanks. Sure, let's talk about it. Do not be envious of people who seem to be full-time content creators. Uh, most of them are broke. Most of them aren't full-time. Most of them have another job and are still broke. I am pretty broke, which is why you'll occasionally see me make posts like, hey, if you guys like my content, feel free to, you know, buy me a coffee or send me a Venmo or something like that um, with a link in my bio. But no, I actually do have another job. It's just that making content has uh, become profitable enough that I can you I can do that more than I do my main job. So I'm what's called a boudoir photographer, which is a intimate portraits photographer. I take photos for people that are of a more sensual variety. This will be my third year doing this kind of work, and it's something that I genuinely enjoy. It can be a very empowering experience, but I can afford to take breaks in doing that because I'm also a veteran and I get a disability check. I did five years in the Navy. I got to deploy. It was an interesting time. To answer the question on whether or not content pays well enough to afford housing, food, and bills, the answer is usually no. Unless you're getting millions of views per video, which some people are, but the majority of people are not, uh, social media platforms generally don't pay you enough for you to live off of them. Like the last video that I made that got a million views, I think I made about 500-ish, maybe close to $600 on that video across all of my platforms. If my videos are averaging like 20,000 or 30,000 views, I need to make like 50 videos in order to get that same like $500, you know what I'm saying? You'd have to be getting millions of views in order for the platforms themselves to pay out enough for you to live off of. If you get brand deals, that's different because then you can have a brand pay you to talk about a product. I've done several of those. Those have been pretty profitable, um, but those come and go. Like You never know when you're going to get your next brand deal, so that's not consistent. Unless you have like a massive following, I'm talking about like, like millions of followers across your platforms kind of thing, uh, it's a lot of like touch and go. You never really know how much money you're going to make over the next month or whatever, right? But on a month that you didn't do too well or the algorithm just kind of screwed you over, you might just be, you might just be broke. So some months I have to really heavily rely on my disability check to keep things afloat. Uh, some months I do get brand deals, and so those months are a little bit easier. And then some months uh, my audience, you guys, will donate money, and that helps me out. Because of the inconsistency, that's why you see me posting so often, and that's why I've got like so many links to different things on like my link tree and all that kind of stuff, because uh, I need to have a lot of different sources of income in order to keep myself afloat. I still also do photography from time to time. It's just that content is just taking over and I'm enjoying it. So I, I just let it take over kind of thing. I hope that answers your question. I'll see you in the next video.